how can we create a goal chart in Excel but instead of using let's say a line to set the goal instead we can use emotes so whenever the emote is, is with this sad face you know you do not hit the, the target and whenever the emoji is smiling you know you hit the target so instead of using a line or to use a boring chart in Excel we can actually make this dynamic and interactive chart whenever you change any values as you guys can see, your chart is going to be automatically updated for you and the emotions is going to be, of course, automatically updated too. So let's find out how can we do it step by step. The first thing that I'm going to start here is, let's say, having a, a, a data set. So it doesn't matter if your data set is a, a small data set like that one that I have here or if you have a bunch of rows, a bunch of columns. So basically, you need two informations. The first one is the date. OK, so you're going to need to use a date column and then a column with values, just these two informations, okay? And then once one thing that you can do here is just select the data, okay? Select the data, and then you can go to insert, and then you can select, let's say, a column chart. I'm gonna select this one right here. Just a simple, a normal column chart. Now with this column chart here, we can start define our goal. We can set our target value. And instead of using, let's say, as I said before, a line as our target point, we can instead use emotions. So let's say here I have a couple of values and my goal here is going to be equal to 30000 for example, $30,000. I can type it in here, the value, or of course, instead of you typing in, in a cell, that your goal, you can use it within the function that we're going to use to create the emotions. okay? So you don't need to type it in your goal in a cell, okay? You can use it within the formula that we're gonna do. But why just I type it in here, my goal in a cell? Because uh, I want to make it dynamic. So I can change anytime when, whenever I change the 30,000 goal, the, this value, my chart is gonna be automatically update for me. The criteria is gonna be automatically update. So the goal is my criteria, is my condition. To start here, I'm gonna use the if function, okay? Because the if function can help me Whenever the value is greater than my goal, for example, I know it's a, it's a smile face. And whenever the value, like this one, for example, is less than my goal, I know that I need to use a sad face because it's not hit the goal. Equal sign if function. I use the if function because it can automate for me this task. Whenever it's hit the goal, it's okay. Else, if not, it's not okay. So double click here in the if function. Want you? Okay. So my logical test is going to be if this value right here is, let's say, less than my go, so it's going to return a sad face. But before I do it, I need to lock the reference. So we're going to press here the F4 key to make sure I can add here the dollar sign just before the letter and before the number. Okay. So F4 key to lock the reference. And then comma, if this condition, if my criteria is true, is met, so I want to return here, let's say, a sad face, because if this right here, right here is true, it's me. My value that I just have here, my actual value, is less than my target. So it's not okay, because I do not hit the goal. So I can type it in here, emoticon. You can search this emoticon into Google, for example, or you can also press window period, window period, and then you're going to have access to these emoticons. I'm going to select here, let's say, a uh, sad face, and then I can close it. And as you guys can see, the emoji is already here. And one important step here is just to put the emoji in between quotations mark, OK? Because that way, the if function is going to understand that it's a text. So you need to put it in your emoticon in between quotations mark. Come again. And then my logical test, if it's true, sad face. Else, if not, I'm going to use a smiling face. So again, window period, I'm going to select the smiling face, close, and then again, just put it in, in between quotations mark, close parentheses, and then I can press enter. And we're done. Now I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down. And as you guys can see, whenever the value does not met my goal, does not reach the goal, does not met the criteria, I'm going to have, let's say, a sad face. And when it's OK, I'm going to have here a smiling face. So I can just update this value right here to you guys see that it's automatically going to be updated. So 70,000, I'm going to change to, let's say, uh, 50,000. 
enter okay as you guys can see it's automatically updated for me and whenever i change here the, the also the goal so for example i'm gonna put the goal into 1000 for example it's uh just a small value so everyone is gonna match the criteria so enter as you guys can see all the faces here are smile and now we can take these emotes and put here in the chart but before we do it let me select here the title and then read it off delete this value here to the left i can delete it it's true and these right lines here i can select and read it off too now we have here a more clean look with our chart and with the chart selected i can click here chart design and here to the left add chart element and then i can select data labels i'm going to select here outside end okay so click here and as you guys can see instead of using these values to the left now we have these values over the columns okay just above the columns one, one thing that we can do here again just clicking chart design now to insert the emojis Add chart element and in the same option data labels i'm gonna choose now more data labels option here to this right panel i can click here value from cells click and then as you guys can see it's gonna appear here this pop out and then i can click here in this upper arrow and select all the values here all the columns that make up my emoji problem and then i can now click here okay and as you guys can see it's done but one last step that we can do instead of using let's say the value to the side of the emoji we can put let's say okay organize it better so put the value just underneath the emoji to do it with this text select i can change here the separator to let's say new line okay now i can close this right panel and we're done guys so this is our chart with emojis and whenever you change any value here you guys can see that the emoji is going to be automatically updated so let's take here let's say the february month and just update this value and we do not hit the, the goal here so 70,000 is less than 30 so we're gonna update it here for let's say 31 or 30 actually so it's just hit perfectly the target enter and yeah as you guys can see now we hit the goal we met the criteria so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions any doubts or any suggestions to the next videos just comment down below let me know and i see you tomorrow as every day has a new video i see you there